hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel let's learn with ar since it's afternoon here if you are watching this video at afternoon time so good afternoon to you as well otherwise good morning good evening whatever time you are watching this video today's topic is about theories behaviorist theory and mentalist theory these both theories are taught in applied linguistics as well as linguistics and these both theories are related to language learning that how a child learns language when he or she is born either that is mother tongue or any other language so let's get started the behaviorist school and behaviorism there is difference between behaviorist and behaviorism behaviorist school simply claims that language learning is the formation of a set of habits bf scanner who represented this theory behaviorist theory was Behaviorism theory was represented by B. F. Skinner and his colleagues, a group of psychologists known as behaviorists. Someone might ask you that what does behaviorist mean? So behaviorist means a group of psychologists. Those are called behaviorists. Says that language or change in behavior on the part of the learner is brought about by a process known as operant conditioning. As I said that. language language learning is change in behavior behaviorism explains that it is a set of habits conditioned behavior is behavior which is the now what does conditioned behavior mean conditioned behavior is a behavior which is the result of repeated training and operant conditioning or operant means that it is voluntary behavior it is the result of the learner's own free will and is not forced by any outside person or thing the learner demonstrates the new behavior first as a response to a system of rewards or punishments and finally as a automatic response means the main things which are discussed in behaviorism that is stimulus reinforcement repetition i mean like if the child weaves so what does he want or what does she want she wants or he wants milk so this condition is called stimulus and there is a response from someone that condition is called a response behavior and the milk is given so that condition is called reinforcement when the things are given to remove his appetition to remove his hunger then that process is called reinforcement and if this thing is repeated again and again then that comes in the a process of repetition now there are important features of uh, behaviorism like i said that operant conditioning can be summarized as stimulus response reinforcement repetition skinner and the behaviorist distinguish between positive and negative reinforcement praise and rewards are positive reinforcement and rebuke and punishments are negative reinforcement means when the things are uh, rewards are given then that comes in uh, rein positive reinforcement and when you are punished then that comes in negative reinforcement the behaviorists claim that we learn by imitation this is the most important thing that the behaviorist claims that means bf skinner claims that we learn by imitation and association we imitate someone then we learn for example a young child hears the word biscuit every time he is given one he soon associates the word biscuit with the actual thing means that comes in the process of repetition uh, important features of behaviorism man has uh, no inborn language capacity of language learning okay the second is social condition plays an important role in language learning he then makes this uh, second sound himself imitating what he has heard his parents are pleased that he has learned another word and so his response is reinforcement reinforced according to the behaviorist theory bf skinner equated uh, learning a language to verbal behavior therefore he believes that now this is the important points that he believes that language acquisition like any other behavior can be observed rather than trying to explain the mental systems underlying these types of behaviors to him children are born with a blank state or mind or tabula rasa 
these both are word like tabula rasa or blank state means like uh, a child is born with a blank mind which is also called blank state or tabula rasa children acquire l1 l1 means first language through stimuli given to them and then response of children are conditioned through reinforcement a positive response will be conditioned through positive reinforcement like reward or praise as i mentioned earlier that what does positive reinforcement a positive response mean means rewards are given they are praised the children are praised for a negative reinforcement which is conditioned with punishment and negative reinforcement means they are punished acquisition how does a child acquire the language skills first language acquisition and how they are extended to another language second foreign language acquisition second or foreign language acquisition that comes in the category of behaviorism that how a language is learned as i said as i mentioned earlier at the start that these theories are related to language learning especially when the child is born that how he or she learns language these two schools are known as afrexets behaviorist or rationalist mentalists now the second theory that is mentalist school or mentalism noam chomsky who was the main figure who represented this theory mentalism theory or mentalist theory a linguist and psychologist criticized skinner's theory and first of all they criticized behaviorism theory which was represented by b f skinner and gave that he misunderstood the nature of language noam chomsky said that b f skinner misunderstood the nature of language and he said that skinner took language merely uh, stringing words together chomsky pointed out that language makes use of structure dependent dependent operation for and they put the example of rate the rate was repeatedly rewarded whereas children utter without any reward and even with when nobody is around on this sound basis noam chomsky rejected the verbal behavior of skinner and proposed his own theory that is known as the mentalist theory in contrast with behaviorist the mentalist suggests that language is that learning is connected with cognition innovation and innate ability means innate means inborn ability according to noam chomsky humans are born with an innate knowledge of language he presented this theory about the response the possibility of an innate structure language acquisition device which is also called lad everybody learns a language because they possess an inborn capacity uh, which permits them to acquire a language this capacity is by definition universal and the next slide that is however this simplistic view of language one means first language acquisition received criticisms mainly from the advocates of innateist theory among whom noam chomsky believed that children are equipped with an innate template or blueprint for language which is called the language acquisition device which accounts for the swift mystery of language among children despite extremely abstract nature of language the mentalist learning theory emphasizes the role of mind in language acquisition by arguing that language that humans are born with an innate and biological capacity to learn languages this theory was spearheaded by noam chomsky and arose in response to b f skinner's and radical behaviorism summary of both theories language acquisition is a result of experience means empirical and behavioral language behavioral approach language acquisition is a result of local social environment rationalistic mentalistic approach and the third is uh language acquisition is a stimulus response process and language is a conditioned behavior children learn language by imitation and analogy language is language learning is based on practice so this was all about today's i hope this video has been helpful for you thanks for watching